When I first heard about binaural beats, I immediately thought of the scene from Back to the Future Part 2, in which Doc uses a machine called the sleep-inducing alpha rhythm generator on Marty's girlfriend to put her to sleep instantaneously when she starts asking too many questions about the future. While binaural beats are not an actual machine that induces sleep, the theory behind them is similar. Binaural beats takes advantage of our brain's incredible ability to respond to sounds. They reflect a sort of sound therapy purported to place someone in different mental states. So what exactly are binaural beats? Although the term sounds like a new age music genre, binaural beats actually reflect a technique that involves combining two different sound frequencies to create the perception of a new sound frequency. For instance, when a tone of 320 hertz is presented to the left ear and 360 hertz is presented to the right ear, the person listening experiences hearing a tone that is 40 hertz frequency. By perceiving this new sound frequency, your brain tunes to the frequency, thus inducing a specific mental state. Many people listen to binaural beats to help them alleviate anxiety, induce deep relaxation or sleep, improve concentration or memory, or enhance creativity. In order to understand how binaural beats can induce different mental states, we first need to understand how our brains work. Neurons, the cells that make up the brain, communicate with each other by sending brain waves, in other words, pulses of electricity to one another. These pulses of electricity transmitted across the brain result in different mental states, emotions, and actions. Therefore, our brainwaves are highly correlated with our feelings and actions at any given moment. Although the brain is exponentially more complicated than what I'm about to discuss in this video, there are essentially four major types of brainwaves that reflect a person's different cognitive states. Beta frequency brainwaves are associated with the highest level of arousal and alertness. When you're focusing, concentrating, or involved in analytical thinking and decision making, your brain waves are in a beta dominant state. Beta waves are fast frequency waves occurring at 13 to 40 hertz. Faster frequency beta waves also predominate in states of anxiety. So when you find yourself awake at two in the morning, ruminating in circles over some issue that you won't be able to fix at 2 a.m., you are in a beta dominant state. The second type of brainwave is the alpha brainwave. Alpha brainwaves are associated with relaxed alertness. Alpha waves are slower in frequency and they dominate when we are alert and relaxed. Alpha waves also predominate when one is meditating or in yoga class. Theta brainwaves are the third type of brainwave. These are slower than beta and alpha frequency. Deep meditation can produce theta waves, as can the drowsy state. The final and slowest type of brainwave is called the delta wave. Delta are associated with deep restorative sleep. Now that you understand the four major types of brainwave patterns, you can see that the faster the brainwave frequency, the higher the level of alertness. The slower the brainwave frequency, the less alert a person is. So how does this all apply to binaural beats? Research has shown that exposing people to specific frequencies of sound or light can result in a process called brainwave entrainment, in which people's brainwaves tune to the same frequency of the external stimuli. A great example of the brain's response to rhythmic external stimulation is highlighted in a neurological condition called epilepsy, in which a person is prone to develop seizures. A seizure is caused by abnormal electrical firing of neural networks in the brain. When people with certain types of seizures are exposed to rhythmic flashing lights, say the kind that one would find in a 1990s rave scene, the flashing lights can trigger certain neurons to become firing rapidly and abnormally, thus causing a seizure. Rarely, other seizures can also be triggered when a person listens to rhythmic auditory beats. For instance, I've had a patient in the past whose seizures were triggered by listening to certain types of musical rhythms. Brain entrainment occurs in healthy people as well. Studies measuring people's brain activity while listening to rhythmic beats have found this to be true. These studies show that neurons in the brain's auditory cortex fire at the same frequency of the beats listened to. Brainwave entrainment refers to the brain's capacity to naturally synchronize its own brainwave frequencies with the rhythm of external stimuli. 
In the case of binaural beats, the stimulus is auditory. Patterns of neural firing measured in hertz correspond to different states, such as concentration, deep sleep, awake relaxation. By listening to binaural beats of specific frequencies, one can theoretically induce a desired state of consciousness. Studies have been performed to identify the potential impact of binaural beats on focus, mood, memory, and creativity. The strongest evidence for binaural beats effects on the brain involves their ability to alleviate anxiety and induce deep relaxation. There are two major types of anxiety state anxiety and trait anxiety. State anxiety involves psychological stress induced by a specific event or situation. Trait anxiety, on the other hand, involves a persistently heightened level of anxiety related to a personality characteristic. Several studies measuring the effects of binaural beats on anxiety found that listening to them, specifically in the delta, theta, or alpha range frequencies, significantly reduced both state and trait anxiety. Several studies have sought to capture the effects of binaural beats on mood. Binaural beats appear to decrease total mood disturbance, decrease fatigue, anxiety, and confusion. However, certain studies show that listening to binaural beats could actually increase depression. When further investigated, it seems that only the lower frequency binaural beats, such as those in the theta or delta range, were actually related to increased depression. Binaural beats stimulation in the beta range, so the fast frequency binaural beats, resulted in decreased reports of depression. The studies measuring binaural beats on memory, focus, and creativity reveal mixed results. Some studies show improvement in these mental states after binaural beat stimulation, while others show a decrease or no effect at all. The mixed results might be related to different frequencies used in the various studies. For example, some studies show that binaural beats can positively or negatively impact memory depending on the frequency generated. One study found that the fast beta frequencies improved memory, while theta frequency binaural beats interfered with memory. So what do we learn from this? that using different frequency sounds could result in vastly different effects on the brain, since different networks involved in different functions oscillate at different frequencies. Keep in mind that this technique of binaural beats may not work for everybody. Much like individuals may respond differently to diets, supplements, and medications, the same applies to binaural beats. Humans are vastly diverse, and what works for one person may not work for another. So what is my personal experience with binaural beats? I implement binaural beats in some of my meditation sessions because it relaxes my mind and puts me in a state of relaxation more easily. I find that listening to binaural beats is particularly helpful when I'm extremely anxious, stressed, and really wanna relax. I haven't seen much of an effect on my memory, concentration, or creativity, but then again, it might be different for you. Research on the effects of binaural beats on the brain is still in its infancy. There is so much more to learn about this technique. Nonetheless, binaural beats offer a non-invasive technique to potentially induce relaxation and alleviate anxiety and possibly enhance other cognitive functions. This is Neurogal MD. Please hit that like button for this video and please make sure to subscribe for more incredible content about the brain.